In the mid-2003, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency launched an ambitious program aimed at recording essentially all of a person's movements, conversations, and everything from what the person has listened to, watched, read, and bought. This Evoras project led them to the development of the software that helped the project to achieve its goals of eavesdropping into people's secret lives. Barely a year after the project began, the life program was ended and effectively shamed out of existence by privacy advocates and the media for invading people's privacy. On the very same date of LifeLock cancellation, a well-known social media platform that everyone enjoys using nowadays, including myself, was introduced to the world. This platform gained fame that almost every human being have used it or is still using it and has made the so-called founder and co-founder reach due to its popularity. But why was this social media platform introduced to us on the same date when this CIA spying software LifeLog was cancelled after people complained that it was invading their privacy? Is social media a tool used by CIA and its agents to monitor what's going on in this world? How does this affect us as Africans? Where are we fitting in as Africans and is this not something to do with the United States? of America and its citizens. Well, remember this is a World Wide Web WWW which brings together the world into one platform controlled by the United States of America. Henley Kissinger, a man recorded in history as an ex-employee of the US government decades ago, was given a task of preventing the rise of the black messiah for the black community. Therefore, every black man would open his mouth and speak the words of wisdom that would wake up the sleeping black race was killed and as a result many strong black leaders have been assassinated through the intelligence of Kissinger. Never should we fool ourselves that Kissinger's legacy was not carried on till to this very hour, the hour that we are right now. Is social media the new Henley Kissinger implemented by the US government to prevent the rise of the black messiah? Well, buckle up your seatbelts and stick right there. I am the African teacher on African Eyes Media diving deep into the CIA FBI files today with the intention of exposing the wickedness that is in the high places. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please don't be afraid. Click on the subscribe button and be part of this journey, the journey in search of knowledge. The idea behind the LifeLog initiative was to create a permanent searchable electronic diary of the entire lives. Not only would the LifeLog immortalize users, in a sense, it would also contribute to a growing body of data that military researchers hoped would contribute to the development of artificial intelligence capable of thinking like a human being does. LifeLog software was an iPhone before the world had an iPhone, the social media before the world world had any social media, a potential all-seeing government surveillance before anyone worried about the security agents. Prior to 2004, the goal of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA Lifeslog Project was to gather in a single place just about everything an individual says, sees or does, the phone calls made, the TV shows watched, the magazines read, the plane tickets bought, the email sent and received. According to an article published on the 4th February 2004, the day when LifeLog was cancelled and also the same day when Facebook was introduced, David Ron Kaga, a professor of computer science and artificial intelligence laboratory in Massachusetts Institute of Technology, was quoted as saying, I am sure that such research will continue to be funded under some other title. I can't imagine DARPA dropped out of such a key research area. End of quote. Ask yourself this question. Research will continue to be funded under some other title? Could that be Facebook? According to Massachusetts Institute of Technology Review, Facebook is a sort of life log. Coincidentally, in 2004, Peter Thiel invested 500,000 US dollars into the Facebook. 
But who is Peter Thiel? He is the co-founder of Palantir, a company which according to Bloomberg uses war on terror tools to track American citizens. No mention of anyone from Facebook and DARPA saying that LifeLog was restructured as Facebook, but if you do research, coincidence abound. Not only does the mission of LifeLog describe how Facebook operates today, but Facebook was launched on February 4, 2004, the exact same day that Wired announced the death of LifeLog. According to a Vice report from 2008, not only would the LifeLog immortalize users, in a sense it would also contribute to a growing body of data that military researchers hoped would contribute to the development of artificial intelligence capable of thinking like a human being does. On March 6, 2019, Facebook France Frontman Mark Zuckerberg announced a privacy-focused vision for social networking and he concluded with the words, quote, I believe we should be working towards a world where people can speak privately and live freely, knowing that their information will only be seen by who they want it to see and want or stick around forever, end of quote. In the post, Zuckerberg briefly mentioned Facebook's history starting over the last 15 years. Facebook and and Instagram have helped people to connect with friends, communities, and interest in the digital equivalent of a town square. Evidence not proof suggests that Facebook roots lie within the intelligence community and the Pentagon through DARPA. Even if you don't believe it originated with DARPA, it is well documented that Facebook recruited an ex-DARPA chief to run its Building 8 research lab named after the eight letters that makes up Facebook, a failed project that was aimed at developing a system that would let us type 100 words a minute on a computer just by thinking what we want to say, about five times faster than people can type on a smartphone and quicker than most of us can type on a computer. Building AIDS goal at Facebook was to create and ship new category defining consumer hardware products that are social first. Remember when Facebook portal was launched? It was the first and the last commercial product that came out of the Facebook's Pentagon-inspired Building 8 research lab, which was reportedly killed, but in reality just reorganized just two months later in December 2018. Why is Zuckerberg announcing a privacy-focused vision for social networks now? Do you really believe that a company that modeled its innovation engine after DARPA would really put privacy at the forefront? Is Facebook truly pivoting to become an ethical and responsible company or is Zuckerberg's vision just that, a vision, a PR stunt and nothing more? How many violations of privacy and trust has Facebook been guilty of and how many users have been put at risk? Beware of what you put up on these social media platforms, it may be used against you in the future.